Yep. We're live. We're live. <laughs> There's no countdown. <laughs> I know. I know. Like we got to get our video intro uh, set up and some uh, some fun tchotchkes or whatever to run at the beginning. <laughs> tchotchkes. Tchotchkes. Uh. Sorry, we're late, guys. I blame it on Clover. What? She was lollygagging outside. Turn Clover. it down. Oh. <laughs> Clover likes to take her time. She likes to. <laughs> Let's see. Let's turn on some comments, shall we? Is that it? No. Well, thanks everybody for joining us today on the live stream. We weren't uh, planning on being here 100 percent so yeah kind of a little bonus <laughs> hey sunny welcome hey sunny <laughs> glad you can join us today yeah how's everybody doing today yeah you're on yeah good <laughs> hey john welcome Good morning. That's what it's. That's what it shows when emojis come in. So just so you know. Purple, yellow, and diamond. Hey Matt, how are you? Hey Matt. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. So welcome back, pest collectors, and uh, ready for the live stream here today. So hopefully you brought your coffee. Made some cereal, some eggs. <laughs> yeah, I brought a tea. Tea? Yeah. I brought my water. We had, we were a little running late too because we also ate breakfast this morning. Usually we don't eat anything. <laughs> yeah. So we woke up early and we were like, let's let's just eat something before the live stream. Otherwise we're like hangry by the time we're done here. <laughs> exactly. Just famished. Yeah. So, uh, actually got to relax and eat some breakfast this morning which was nice it's the first saturday i've eaten breakfast in like weeks since we started <laughs> yeah since we started live stream. <laughs> good morning larry magic by larry good morning pat <laughs> yep clover clover's uh thing got postponed till tuesday so we were able to do the live stream yeah we didn't have to uh um you know mess with her which is good yeah. <clears throat> Clover went in for tests. Was that Wednesday? Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And they ran a bunch of tests on her, like listened to her heart and uh, what else did they do? Um, Took an x-ray to see her. Mm -hmm. She's got throat problems usually, like the yep. too detailed. <laughs> but they did test. And uh, they said she's all healthy for being 16. <laughs> yeah, she's not a young dog, but yeah. little dogs live a long time, so. Yeah. Hey, Paul, welcome. Welcome. Hey, Paul. <laughs> Sienna, good morning. Hey, Sienna. How's it going? Oh. <laughs> so, uh, one thing that, one thing we were talking about, um, yesterday or the day before is we're thinking about going live on TikTok at the same at, at oh, the same, same time, time. <laughs> like simultaneously but uh TikTok is a different place so um can you go live on this no no the no there's it no this the yeah this this software that we use doesn't doesn't multi-stream to TikTok plus we don't want it to be horizontal like this anyway we want oh, it to be yeah. vertical sure you have to sit like really close like this I figured it'd just be on you and they would hear some random person talking in the background. But, uh, you know, our goal is to kind of bring new, new collectors into the hobby and, yeah, and, uh, you know, TikTok's a good spot for it, I think. Yeah. Do you like that idea or do you think we should do live TikTok some other way or some other time? Either, leave this either idea, YouTube? I think, yeah. Yeah. I think, uh, I don't know, I think that. YouTube helps bring in a lot of, you know, viewers, but I think TikTok has a whole other yeah. set of viewers. And I do promote all this on TikTok, so I know some people probably come from TikTok. I know, mm -hmm. I know Sienna does. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I don't 
don't know. I think we should try... I want to do some other lives too because, you know, like, this is like our Saturday morning. It's all set up, you know, for this live, but yeah, TikTok I, lives can be even different, I think. Yeah, I almost think it, I almost think doing TikTok at the same time as this um, might be distracting. Oh. Uh, because either we wouldn't be able to, like, answer questions on both, really. Yeah. But... A lot of times on TikTok, people want to see the Pez, so, like, we could also, like, set something up down in the main Pez area. Oh, yeah, do, like, a live show and, and tell? Then, yeah. Yeah, that might be fun. I get asked a lot, like, oh, they they see a video, and then they're like, wait, what, what was that the new suburb, or, you know, what are those Transformers, or Snoopy, or whatever. Hey, Matt, it says maybe Twitch. You know, this, yeah. this software can multi-stream to Twitch, but as soon as you become a Twitch partner, <laughs> you can't multi-stream anymore. Oh, really? And it has to be exclusive content. Uh, so, um, you know, we really, really want to go where the audience is, honestly. Like, wherever the people who want to watch are. And I have not had any experience on Twitch. I mean, I think there's a bunch of Lego people on Twitch. Mm -hmm. But it, does anybody know of any Pez channels on Twitch or, or really anywhere else besides YouTube? <laughs> I think we're going to keep doing this though. Like this is the kind of the main thing. Yeah. This is the core audience. Yeah. And my YouTube, I want to grow my YouTube channel. I know you can grow a Twitch channel and also monetize it, but mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's just starting over again, I think, unless, unless we did it and then see how far we can grow it. Cause there's always new people like on all the platforms. Yeah. Yeah. Cause all, everyone always thinks all the Pez people are on Facebook, but they're not, they're all over. So, yeah. So, uh, what's on the agenda? What did everybody get this week? And don't say nothing because I know <laughs> I saw posts on Facebook. <laughs> so, or what is everybody looking for? We can, uh, don't worry, we're not going to buy it. I can't promise that. <laughs> I can't promise that. Now, at least you tell us something super specific that's on eBay right now. <laughs> What's it say? Make it big. Um, we'll go here. It says, I think it's mostly gamers on Twitch. Uh, That's what I was thinking, too. A lot, but I think there's other stuff, too. Yeah, but I think you're right. It's mostly gamers. Yeah. Like you said, like there's a lot of LEGO people on it. I know, because I follow a lot of LEGO social media people on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, they're always going live on Twitch. But they also go live on YouTube, so... Yeah, we do put a we do put a link on TikTok to send them here. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we do that. We do that. Ooh. Found the Hello Kitty Namaste yesterday at Walgreens. Nice. Wow, that's, that's really the good. yoga ones. I got picked that up. Thank you. <laughs> Namaste. Greg took a yoga class with me a long time ago, like before we were married. <laughs> He's still here. <laughs> Yeah, the things you do before you're married. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got I got a My Little Pony on short card for someone else. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. He has the short cards because he's not here. Yeah. So Sid says I got two engineers and two sheriffs. Oh. Wow. Cool. That's a that's quite the haul. So did you also get the monorail? Oh. Or was that just in your picture? Yeah. He With the panda? He doesn't want to talk about that. Oh. Or, oh. That's incognito. <laughs> so Sid, are the sheriffs the... Man, I have an itch. Are the sheriffs um, two different hats? Or are they different? Two, two different stems? Why'd you get two? Probably lots of variations. Oh, um, that's what I'm asking. <laughs> so uh, Larry says he got Miss Piggy with eyelashes, three nine stem with thick feet. Never seen that before. I thought three nines were thin. Oh yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Three the three nine era is the Wild West. <laughs> what you'll see and what you won't see is anybody's guess. That's a good. I always like when you find variations of 
more common pez that you're not gonna break the bank and then you're like oh, wait this is like something totally different than i have and you can put miss piggy next to all your other miss piggies nice. there's a lot of variations on those too dan says i'm selling pez today at my garage sale that's fun at your garage sale we gave them away for halloween i mean that's a good way to get collectors is you know to get the let the less costly stuff you put them the out front and, and put the live stream on so your uh your buyers would be like wait it must be something cool it's yep. on youtube yeah <laughs> we better buy these well good luck selling your pez at your grad sale sid says twitch is a younger audience pez ain't their jam try oh, only come on sid come on man <laughs> listen well, if, if uh, you don't think younger audiences are into Pez, I have way more followers on my TikTok channel than any of my platforms. Yeah, I think you... And they're all young kids. Like, there's so many people on there, like, they'll comment or say stuff, and I'll go look at the profile, and it's like a little kid. <laughs> yeah, so, or, or a younger or person. A younger, I say a little kid, but they're probably... Yeah, no, they're... Young, they're so, <laughs> teenagers or... I so know. I think you underestimate that the power of the characters that pez is licensing so um the key is 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 to help them collect because there's no i doubt there's anyone under 25 joining facebook mm -hmm. so um we got to go where the people are okay little mermaid sid says <laughs> i bought all the monorails uh -oh. <laughs> All of them. Matt says, I bought a lonely Batman Pez at an antique store for two fifty nine. I felt bad and bought him. Yeah, he doesn't need to live there. Yeah. Now he's in a good home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Peppermint Pat says, I'm going out today to look for the Incredibles Pez. Ooh, maybe don't do that. <laughs> yeah. You're going to be looking for a long time. You can't buy the, the Incredibles Pez. I don't know if you can buy. I don't know if you can buy them at the stores anymore. Here, put a Pez on that thing really quick. I haven't seen them. The 2018 ones. I'm not sure if they're retired, but I have a feeling here, that the, they are. Let's just make sure that. Let's do some tests here to make sure that that's working. See, like it doesn't like something's not right. There you go. It's beautiful. <laughs> What's everyone think of my? Madagascar Pez. This is our, this is the Pez I keep up here to, to test like, the spinner every week. I feel like we need music when we put Pez up there. We can play music during the live stream. Where's my phone at? I don't think okay. we're supposed to though. It depends on the, have... the YouTube music. Like, like the Epidemic Sound specifically says you can't use it during really? live. Really? Yeah. Well, good thing you said that. Oh yeah, I know. I'd read the terms of service. <laughs> We gotta get the turntable hooked up. And the microphone. Oh no, we got the microphone. We just need the turntable. <laughs> <laughs> Two turntables and a microphone. Where it's at? Okay. It's all ready to go. Oh, here we, we go. We got lots of stuff to open. Found a nice collection of Pez trucks at the local candy store. Oh, cool. Man, do candy stores actually exist anymore? Yeah. Really? Wow. There's people who post candy stores. I don't know, they seem like they're all like up north. Or when we went to the uh, Cleveland, if you go to Cleveland Pest Convention, how far away was that candy store? It's called, at least someone knows the name of it. Oh, yeah. There's a candy store, something sweet, it's like Sweeties, or is it called Sweeties? Maybe. I don't know, but it's really close to the convention, maybe like 10, 15 minutes away or so, and there's a whole wall of carded Pez, Pez boxes, at least when we went. It's like a huge candy store. But there's some other ones people post there once in a while um, on Facebook, and I'm like, wait, yeah, like, like how do like how do they sell this much amount of candy to keep the candy fresh? But maybe they do. I don't know. Hey, Allison and Hamster. Hey, <laughs> glad you could join us. It's just the hamster now. Yeah. Did you notice, Allison, are you on TikTok? Like, what do you think of TikTok and Pez? <laughs> Let's see here. I Do got they it. Mix? Are you on the Are you on the TikTok? <laughs> okay, quit. You're gonna scare people away. <laughs> I have to say it like an old person. All right, let's see. So, 
Randy says, I got some new Pez to sell. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Wait, is that Randy Randy? I mean... Is that the Randy on I th Facebook? I think it's... I mean, it's a Randy. <laughs> so, Engineer's Blue... Ooh. Engineer's Blue USA, Blue and Red from Cavalieri. Okay, yeah. I think I saw those for sale. Those are cool. good buys. Let's see... Oh, Olaf says, I found a Jerry with the inset ears. Nice. Do you know what that even is? No. <laughs> I don't even know what I might that have is. it. I don't know. I do have a bunch of Tom and Jerry ears. Olaf, if you're friends with Aaron or I on Facebook, uh, send me a picture and private message so I can show people what that is. What that is. Yeah. Or if somebody, ha somebody has a picture. Um, Sid, Sid likes TikTok, especially for international. Mm. Let's see. I gave away. Let's see. I gave away at two on Tuesday, and we'll give away four more on Monday for more bridge players for grandchildren. Oh, okay. There you go. Paul's giving them away. Just give him Pez, like Pez for you, Pez for you, Wait, Pez for you. He just like. He says he gives away to bridge, a bridge players. I, I was moving past it. More on Monday to bridge players. You got All it for grandchildren. You got it. Nice. You know, so how how he gives them to his friends, so he can they take them home. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Usually, I take the candy that I unbox all the time, or and I'm always giving it away to friends and family. I'm like, take some, take some. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Did you read it all? Yeah. Thank okay. You. That was a long one. Took I read it out loud. It took me a minute, Greg. Oh, Peppermint Pat says she's going to World Market and Five Below today. Mm. So what should she look at at those two places for those? Well, Five Below always has, like, Harry Potter. They always have, like, Disney ones. So, like, Marvel and uh, Toy Story. Seems like they always have Peppa Pig. I don't know. Every time I go. Yeah. World Market always has, like, they always have, like, SpongeBob and Hello Kitty. For some reason, like... My world market, every time I go, there's always a row of Eternals. I swear no one ever buys the Eternals. <laughs> and out of all the like, Marvel characters that Pez could make and they made Eternals Pez, like, come on. <laughs> I know, it's a dud comic book. I mean, and a dud movie. The movie was mediocre. Agree. Paul says there's a boatload of the zebra of variations on the zebra. Oh, yeah. Talking about variations. I do have two of sitting here. <laughs> you do? Yeah, there's one over there. And uh, I got this one over here. And, like, the color of the, like, the white, I guess, uh -huh. is, like, a little different. So. Oh, Sienna got a fuzzy friend, tiger, oh. and a giraffe. Nice. Awesome. How far away are you from having all the fuzzy friends, Sienna? After you saw Aaron's horde of them <laughs> my horde she, she probably paused the video and was like write them down <laughs> see I gotta get the bear I gotta get the bear with the big snoot I gotta get the bear with the little snoot <laughs> I found more fuzzy friends so like this past week I was looking for some pets to trade with a couple people and I was going through my storage bins and I'm like more fuzzy friends like where are these coming from <laughs> well, maybe you should sell them I didn't even, I opened the bin and I'm like, fuzzy friends, and I just put it back. <laughs> I, I tell you, I have cannot bring myself to sell anything uh, or even hardly trade. Like, I'll have, we have multiples of something and somebody will be like, <laughs> hey, you know, do you want to sell this or that? And I'll have like 10 of them. And I'm like, hmm. Oh yeah, I need to see your, like, he's got a stack in his studio I always forget about. I need to look through those and see because... Yeah. I do have people that want to trade with me sometimes. I'm like, what do I need? Let's see. Mm, I might need ten of those. A lot of the, a lot of the stuff I have, like that I know that we have for doubles, are just like more current stuff. So it's nothing like too exciting unless you're new, or if you're looking for like a specific variation or something. Um, but then it's the whole fact of me going to have to dig through my bins and finding the doubles. <laughs> but I do have a couple like areas where I keep doubles, but. I know I have way more than that, so it's just they just add up. Olaf said he found that at a flea market after f searching for it for twenty years. What? Yeah, 
See, that's a that's a true find. That's awesome. You know, a, another collector would have charged it. Now, who knows how much for that? <laughs> that's super cool. See, I see the edge of the laptop in here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and I also see the edge of the of that blue thing here. Uh oh. This thing fell over. I had it all set up last night. And I came in here and it was and it fell over. That's still in the picture. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Every week. What is what is that's my that's my iPad. <laughs> Dan says Sweets and Geeks, Medina, Ohio. That's the That's what it, I don't remember it called Geeks. Sweets and Geeks. Okay, well. Might be. I thought it was called is there one called Sweeties? Is there one called There's there was an old S restaurant here in St. Louis called Sweeties. I don't think I ever remember see, that one. The candy stores in my area of Dallas, Texas have high pedestrian traffic. Mm. Yeah, I mean I think if you have a it, yeah, I think if you have a good area, then maybe something like a candy store will to me it candy stores seem like very touristy type places yeah. like you have to have people coming in mm -hmm. oh yeah it's called what, it's called ba sweeties ba sweeties wait because i follow them on tiktok yes yeah, sweetie candy company there you go largest candy store in north america and I always, I comment on their videos when they do like store things. I'm like, show the Pez. And they like never show the Pez. Yeah. And I know they have like just a giant wall of Pez. Says, Randy says, yes, it's Randy from Zoom. Oh, yeah. Hey, there Randy. <laughs> this is the Randy. That's the Randy. Well, you never know with the different names. So, I mean, the, Randy's a pretty popular name. Sid is super impressed with that Jerry. And so is Paul. So good Ooh. job, Olaf. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, there's a candy store, the Del Mar Loop, in downtown at Union Station. Oh yeah, in St. Louis. Yeah, that's true. That's that. I think those are perfect examples of like touristy areas. Are those candy stores still there? Like right now? There used to be one called like Rocket Soda or something. Rocket Fizz. Remember that? Oh yeah, like back a long time and, ago. And. Uh, trying to think I, I don't think it lasted very long it was yeah down towards the city here so matt says mostly harry potter and peppa's at yeah. his local five below yeah. <laughs> i keep thinking every time i go to five below or world market i'll find like the new care bears or the new little mermaid or the new disney 100 and nothing's ever new i don't know if they don't I don't know if they don't sell them enough or if they just never get the new 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 stock in like it's always just like the same stuff that they get stocked Sid that's the same dude that is you're speaking my language I'm like I haven't inspected them close enough to know if they're all actually yes. the same <laughs> <laughs> or yeah or you do know that there are some like uh, IMCs or yeah something and you're like I don't want to trade that but even when I traded my mimics, what it what I thought like were du exact. what I thought were duplicates weren't. They yeah. I had three different dual IMCs. Yeah. So, <laughs> but I made the deal. I had to stick stick with it. Uh, you have tons of mimics. Yeah, Paul. See now you're getting it. But a hoarder. <laughs> you're getting it. <laughs> you always said collecting is somewhat hoardy. Yeah, collecting is a definitely. Definitely a mental illness. Very close Is to hoarding. It? It's Jerry C. with pink plastic ear inserts. Okay, we'll have to look that up. Olaf took over the live stream with his score. Like it's all anyone can talk about. What? How awesome his, uh, his score is. It's awesome. I get, it's so cool whenever you see people who find stuff like in the world like they're not just shopping on ebay or you know dan says sweeties has been around forever in cleveland uh, old-fashioned candy yeah i think that's cool i think the old candy stores that actually like make the candy i don't cool know if too. they still make it now do they well, i don't know i'm just saying it's cool when they do make it yeah like they make they the might have stuff that they make and... but there's also just like candy from all over the world let's see 
What else? What else we got here? Oh, Collector Pez. Do we know you, Collector Pez, or do you just have that sweet username? <laughs> See, I got 1950s full bodied Santa last week. Ooh, nice. Like this guy here? Yeah. I think this is a must for for a collection. It's just so unique and old and interesting. Aren't they coming out with more full body stuff? Yes. Yeah. Yes. They oh. showed a snowman. It's super cool. I can't wait. Yeah, nice work, Collector Pez. Dun -da 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 -da, collector Pez. Dun -da 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 -da. Almost a hoarder. <laughs> <Hoo -hoo>. <laughs> <laughs> If you have the vintage one, you have to make sure you have the newer one, too. Oh, you're looking it up. Yeah, we showed it on the la on one of the live streams a mm -hmm. while ago, didn't we? Yeah. I thought it was pretty cool. Oh, and the... I don't think we ever talked about these. The Ahsoka. Yes. Yeah. Here's the... <laughs> There's the snowman one. We're supposed to get this Christmas. I mean, that's definitely just a mock-up picture, but it's pretty cool. Yeah. My favorite part is the little hands, like. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> Paul says snowman is an ornament. Yeah. Well, yeah, they're like the, but they, they remind me of the full body. But they're functional full body uh -huh. pose, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I never talked, I never talked about the new Ahsoka Pez. Turn on your brightness a little. On my phone? Yeah. Whoa, why is it so bright? That's good. <laughs> so there's the new Ahsoka pose. If you're into Star Wars, Ahsoka, she's getting her own uh, TV series over on Disney+. Plus. And I think they finally announced it's going to be coming out in August. I think it's August. Might be September. I think it's August. And I'm super excited for that series. If you've ever watched like the Clone Wars animated Star Wars shows, <clears throat> or uh, if you watched the Mandalorian, you saw Ahsoka again. But Ahsoka has been in like the Rebels TV animated series and mm -hmm. uh, she's all over the place. So, and if you don't know, Ahsoka was uh, Anakin Skywalker's Padawan. So. <laughs> She's going to have an updated Pez. We already have an Ahsoka Pez from the Clone Wars series. I do have a video showing those if, in case you don't know. You can check it out here on the channel, but we're getting an updated one. I'm pretty excited about that because it looks more like, you know, like the grown-up Ahsoka. Because the Ahsoka from the Clone Wars, she's like a teenager. So it'll be fun to get. So one of the things that I wanted to talk about this week before we get to opening up, um, opening up boxes, one thing that came up on Facebook that um, I commented on that you probably seen. Most of you think follow me on Facebook, but but basically, people have been posting collections for sale that are mostly commons, and people post things like. Um, Oh, these are mostly worth 50 cents, right? Like oh. if you, maybe a quarter, maybe they're not worth anything, right? <laughs> and, um, you know, I just wanted to say that I'm very guilty of this, by the way. Like I'm guilty of saying if it's got feet, it's 50 cents. Oh, yeah. And, you know, it's really not the case. It's, it's the case for maybe 99% of stuff, but yeah. there is plenty, plenty of very collectible newer pez mm. i mean the variations just think about this the zebra let's say let's say you had all the variations of the zebra but one what would you pay for the one that you were missing you'd probably pay two dollars three dollars five dollars yeah to complete the complete your zebra variation collection so you know, I just want to make sure that I that I say that out loud so that it doesn't, um, you know, I, I don't want to, I want to make sure that we all look at this stuff for the, you know, for the value that it, that it is instead of just saying, oh, it's, it's, you know, it's junk. Yeah. It's, it's got feet. It's not worth anything. <laughs> so, um, 
if every you know everybody that's working on these like variation lists and all that stuff like let's get those things published because then we'll start to know like for instance like i bought a crystal whistle that there's only two colors of known and there's only 300 of them made it has feet right mm -hmm. that's clearly very valuable there's all sorts of variations of um uh pandas that we talk about all the time <laughs> right that i would pay 10 yeah. 10 20 dollars for even ones with feet there's there's ones with there's one with feet that i'm not going to tell you about because i don't want the price to go up but there's one with feet that i would pay well over a hundred dollars oh, for. You, do you have it yet we don't have oh, it oh see so yeah can't find it oh. i know someone who does have it oh but he doesn't <laughs> want to sell it to me just yet oh. so I would just say when you're participating in online, like if only vintage are worth anything, the vintage are gonna are going up at such a fast pace that people aren't gonna be able to collect it, like mm. regular people. So let's start to identify some of these rarer footed pez and you know, start to talk about why they're rare and what's common and what's not common. And, I think that would really help people because none of the guides show any of that stuff. There's no ver Pez variation guide that I know of. No, there's just like the people who have this stuff online that you have to like dig for or know, know where to look because it's hard. Yeah. Yeah. And, and people don't really share, you know, I talk about the folks that build the, the couple of variation guides for Star Wars and I think Cam Art built the Pluto one and mm -hmm. there's a there's a couple people who have built those that I just think that they're amazing. Mm -hmm. So I know um uh Jason is working on a um an MMM mm -hmm. guide. I know Rosenberg built the PALS guide, but imagine Oh yeah the PALS and the USA guide. We use those yeah. all the time. Imagine collecting Pez without Rosenberg's two books. You know, like to know things about PALS and know things about USA stuff. Like yeah. it'd be a lot different. So it's hard. Um, yeah, you're you're absolutely right. Um, you're absolutely right, Sunshine Tuna. But what's interesting is that um, they're definitely rare, rarer ones. So just understanding that they're less common, I think is super important. Not what's out there. Like I know what you're talking about, Paul, but not just what's out there, what's but what's rare. He says the site he put he put me on, like we've known about <laughs> that stuff, that sites for all, all of eternity. But like, um, yeah, just understanding like what's rare and what's not. I think what's that's the, the site? key. It's a variation he's, site? No, he's talking about Momo, I think. Oh. Uh, like that's been around forever. Oh. Uh, even Momo doesn't have like all this when you say variations like you mean like super slight variations yeah. like you know like they added different eyes or they painted like on cinderella there's a line on the back versus the no line on the back like a lot of that stuff is not in the guides you just have to yeah, like exactly. be a collector forever and remember when that stuff came out and then you know hopefully you don't forget and then you know that it exists or you see it on someone else's guide or whatever yeah, so, yeah, David Welch's book, right, started it all. I mean, that thing, I, I, we have that on our on on our counter. I mean, even today, that thing is a wealth of what exists and what's real. Yeah. Um, even the Pez Collecting News book has oh. got some crazy information in it. Like, That's really good. Like a, uh, it's like a collection of... It's like a of, compilation of a yeah. bunch of Pez Collectors News, that book. Yeah, so, um, you know, it's... Just, uh, I don't want to get on any sort of like soapbox or anything, but <laughs> I just see a lot of Facebook comments about how, oh, you know, this whole lot of 200 Pez isn't worth anything. And, you know, when I look in there, I see like pandas in, in, um, uh, like an Easter bag or uh, something where I would pay two bucks for that. Yeah. Right. In the, you know, it's in the wrong bag or it's in a, it's in a Halloween bag. Yeah. Right. So. Well, there's always new collectors too. Like, I always wish that when I started collecting that there was more of an online presence because I probably would have went on and bought, you know, huge lots of Pez. But back when I started, there was no such thing as like, just buying huge, lot, huge lots of Pez like you can nowadays. Like nowadays, if you start collecting, you can buy, you know, go to eBay or Facebook or whatever and buy 
a giant lot of pez and you, you can double your pez in no time. <laughs> Yeah, you're right, Ricky. It's hard to tell what is a real variation. Some of the rarer colors from Welch or others were nearly one-offs, so it's hard to know what's real 25 years later. Right, but we know what's real now, right? So, like, it's all, like, just like the Hello Kitty flower, uh, right? Like, no one would know that was rare. Um, you know, the different flower color was rare unless somebody said it. So, it was no different 25 years ago. It's just that you know, no one kept track of it really. You had to you had to get it from uh, tribal knowledge from mm -hmm. from the collectors. Yeah. So it's uh, you know, anyway, that's you know, if, if we want new collectors to come into the hobby, we have to make sure that there's dispensers they can afford. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh yeah. And there's that are still worth tons. and there's worth collecting. Yeah, there's still plenty of dispensers. You don't have to pay hundred dollars for. Yeah. Pez to have a nice collection. Well, pe well, people, sometimes I see people like, oh, I'm going to quit collecting, sell my collection because the value's gone up so um, high. Imagine if someone said that with stocks. Like, I'm going to sell my IBM stock because it's just too high. <laughs> too high. I can't buy more of it. Like, you just keep it. Or you, know? you just sell it and then you make your money and then you're out. Yeah. So anyway, I, I just, you know, hopefully, hopefully that comes off as sincere. But if we want to grow the hobby, we have to we have to really work on we have to work on what's available and what's known and what people know of and we have to start tracking this stuff. Yeah. So Sunshine Suna says, okay, so here's a question. Does a one-off change change in dis a dispenser mean it's a variation or an error? Depends um, what kind yeah. of it depends what kind of one-off it is. If it's like a misprint or a part missing or something it's in a package and that's an error i, I would say but like a variation could be like because like a lot of most pez 100 percent of the pez they're they're made for over you know so many years some of them are 10 20 years they've been making these pez long time i don't know about 20 that's a long time but a long time yeah so just think of how they make them in different factories or they make them over time and the mold the molds uh you know get worn out or, you know, they can't match the colors every time. So there's just so many different variations. Or, yeah, exactly. Or like Disney's like, oh, we need to add, you know, these larger eyes. Our characters look a little different, but it's the same mold. So that would be like a variation, I think. Yeah, Pez will change suppliers of plastic or the plastics company will change mixtures yeah. of the plastic and like things, all sorts of things happen. So, Or they uh, make them in different factories over all these different years. And, mm -hmm. Because they're not that you know what what makes it fun for collectors is that I don't think Pez actually cares that they're just a tiny bit different. Like to mm -hmm. them, they're just a disposable dispenser that you know dispenses candy and yeah. You know. So it says I think we dismiss the story of the Pez and the value too often. It's the journey, the adventure, the story. Exactly. That's how all art is, by the way. It's all. It's the story is is um um what's cool about it. Mm -hmm. I mean. You know, the fact that there's LTD, small and large, on the back of Pez, you know, the story is that they were shipped out incorrectly as a misprint, and then they had to recall them and all that stuff. That's super fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it maybe raise the value of the dispenser a tiny bit. You know, it goes from, yeah. <laughs> you know, 50 cents to a dollar. But yeah. or It's like when they had the Batman Pez. Oh, yeah, the pokey ears. Yeah, the one with the really pointy ears, then they made them less pointy. Yeah. Yeah. I remember looking for the pointy ear one, mm -hmm. and it was hard. It was hard to find. Well, yeah, I don't think they were around that long. Yeah. There's a there's a footed dispenser that's relatively rare. Yeah, has a fun story behind it. Yeah, yeah. At least so. for me, because I remember collecting it back then. Anyway, so that's enough of that, but... Um, Let's definitely spend some time on some of these newer things to understand what they are and and their variations. So what else do we have? I got the new Little Mermaid Pez this week. <laughs> Actually went shopping at the store and found them. Paul says, show the Bob pick. The Bob pick? What's that? Oh, Bob the Builder? Oh, I guess yeah. I must since he put it in all caps. I have a, I do have a video showing the Bob the Builder Pez. Yeah. What are you trying to show us here, 
ball variations. Well, like Pilcher, the Scarecrow. No, Pil Pilcher's not. The, wait, is this Sid? <laughs> What's the Scarecrow's name? Pilcher. No, wait. Or is that the cat? The Scarecrow has like a soft versus a hard nose. The cat has short versus long ears. I don't. The Bob the Builder one, I don't know what that is, but. There's well, there's definitely a stem variation and there. stem variations. Yeah, so... Tell us, Bob. Or, Paul. Yeah, tell us, Paul. What's the <laughs> difference in the pick? He said he, paid, he, said he said he paid 15 bucks plus shipping for those. Oh, uh, So yeah. that's that's footed Pez that he paid more than 50 cents for. Yeah. That's a good example. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to buy variations online because... If you go on eBay, you just find listings and the people don't know what the variations are and they won't point it out. And if you ask them, usually they get all disgruntled that you asked them about a couple dollar pez. They're like, I'm not checking. I've had that happen. <laughs> right. And then like, unless people post it on Facebook, you ask about it. And then, uh, you know, so it's, it's hard sometimes to even find these variations on these more common pez. That's why it's good to have, you know, a good community that... You can ask other uh, pest collectors to buy from. What's he say? So I was just talking to Rosenberg, uh. and you know now is he on Pan the live stream? No, I don't well, think so. Well, then you can't talk to him. Well, he was he was we were talking about something similar. Um, uh. I guess that uh, red. I don't want. I don't really want to bid it up, but there's a there's something for sale that the value of it is is going up more than what it what it normally mm. does. So it's just an example of a non-footed Pez that used to be obtainable, like let's call it five or $10, that now is gonna go somewhere between 50 and $100. Oh. So. Well, I think, I mean, over time, there's more collectors coming in and buying this stuff and then it disappears off the market. So mm -hmm. unless uh, someone's selling their stuff, some of the stuff even from like 20 years ago, it's hard to find. So, so it all depends what it is and what people want. like. Pez are hot. Pez aren't hot. <laughs> yeah. Characters make them popular. Other characters don't make them popular. I'm really, I'm really enjoying it, honestly. I mean, even when I collected comic books, I really loved the various covers. It used to drive oh, yeah. Aaron crazy. <laughs> I'm like, she's like, you gotta, you, you're just gonna read one of them. I go, but I uh, need ten. Yeah, you, you go to the comic store, and there's like, how, what was that like? Uh, Star Trek. What did you collect in every week? There was like five covers. Walking Dead always had those. Like they yeah. had cover variations. So you would have one, two, three, or four. Sometimes every week or every month or whatever. And I'd be like, what? <laughs> they just do that to get you to buy more. But you have to have them if you're a collector and you like those comics. Yeah. A documentary would be cool. That's for sure. About the production of a peasant monster from the design to the model construction. You know, with the success of Steve Glue's movie, there might be people talking about, like, a documentary. Mm. Oh, right. Dan. Shh. Those don't exist. <laughs> Shh. What's wrong with me, Pez? They're, the price of them is going crazy. Uh, and, then when you, and then when you add a mini, the price goes up. Mm. You make the Pez smaller, the price goes up. Or the... Uh... What's one I just got? Uh, the Junior City. Like those, like the Junior City 1 and 2, you never hardly see for sale. Oh, the, oh, who? Or the Santa Claus Party Pigs. Who won that? Who won that Junior City on eBay? Uh, who won it? Yeah, there was a Junior City 1, right? Junior City 1. That popped up on eBay. It, how long was it there? Not, that Not even 10 minutes. Like, I, could, I got the alert and I was on a conference call. And I go, I go, I go down to look at it, and it was already gone ten minutes later. It was somebody who put a set of Junior City One, buy it now for two hundred seventy bucks. Didn't even last. Still 10 a minutes. lot, but not. Yeah, definitely didn't. Yeah, somebody's somebody's enough. doubling their money, or it gave somebody an opportunity Maybe, to have them. Hopefully, in their someone bought them. Yeah, they'd enjoy them. That's that would be a really cool score. Yeah, there's been. There's been various candy episodes mm. shows out there of that feature Pez. I'm gonna have to look that up. I feel like I've seen that, or I don't know. We used to watch that. I remember the Jelly Belly episode. Yeah. <laughs> How everybody likes jelly pop, pop popcorn flavored Jelly Bellies, and I just don't understand. <laughs> yeah, Ricky. the uh, The Japanese minis are crazy prices. They, you know, 
for the regular ones, anywhere between fifty and seventy five dollars for a set I, in the egg I with like all the even stuff. Even like the more common ones have like gone up within the past yeah. year, even. Yeah. Or if they have eggs, or if they have the inserts, or yeah. eggs ask for even more. Yeah. If, if there's the eggs, if there's the inserts, somewhere between fifty and seventy five dollars for the more common ones, but it price goes up. Yeah. You know, from there, that's like the. That's like the regular ones. I think those Japanese mini ones will be good ones to have down the road if you do like a value to your collection. <laughs> because uh, there's not as many out there. No one, I guess no one really knows how many they made, but... He's about to waffle 15. What does that mean? What is it? Gems Bee? Bees? Mini set? I don't know. Just waiting for my Facebook ban to get lifted. You Facebook know, ban? You, listen, you know, you, waffle, do, you know waffles are not... <laughs> Loud on Facebook, right? So like, what's a waffle? You're gonna eat some waffles? <laughs> no, it's a it's a raffle. So, um, did you get banned from waffling? Anybody who anybody who does those waffles, I just cringe because, I mean, they're they're, they're risking their entire mm -hmm. account. Like it just makes oh, no really? sense to me. Yeah, I'm I never do the waffles. I always I rather just pay the person. I don't know. Instead of a waffle, you should do a reverse auction because it's in it's legal, and uh, and you'll get you'll get a you'll get a, a lot of you know you, you'll have the opportunity to get a lot of money uh, for it, or just put a price on it and sell it. Well, then you never know if you got top dollar. Oh, uh, well then just put it in the Pez auction. Yeah. I don't know. I don't ever sell stuff. <laughs> Keep, I hoard my pets. Ricky says, Sid, I know someone who owns a marketplace. That's funny. Is that is Ricky plugging his Ricky, are you plugging your, <laughs> your swag? <laughs> your stuff? Alright, let's open some boxes. Shall we just get to it or what? It's been almost an hour, even though we were a little late. 47 minutes. Oh. Uh, must have been a lot late. Like 10 minutes or so. Hmm. I don't know if we have that much. Oh yeah, we do. You not even you can't even see all these boxes. I was the one that took the labels off, so I stacked them up really nice and neat. This one I did open. <laughs> this is uh, start my trash pile. First one here, Susie Sheep. This is the new Peppa Pig. Super cute. Someone was selling this. Uh, I bought for like uh, six dollars, I think. I bought a couple other things, but I'm not going to show those things. Really? <laughs> oh, look, the ears on this Madagascar thing is soft. Feel that, like rubber. You want to show the Susie sheep? Sure, I'll, I'll show the sheep. Show, show the sheep. Someday you'll see. Someday you might see the other things. Yeah, look, I got. it's like. But not today. You can see through the crack. Oh. <gasps> okay, come on. What the heck? Everybody wants to see Susie spin. This is the new Peppa Pig. It's only sold currently from Pez International. So, I think it's super cute. <laughs> I don't really think about the character. It's for preschoolers. I thought it was cute. Looks like a little marshmallow head. Yeah, that's what fun. Think? What do you think, Greg? Is it super cute or just a little cute? It kind of reminds me of the pandas. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cute. <laughs> I feel like the head's like up a little too high. Like, you should be like... Like down a little bit. What? Like, you, like the nose is like really high up there. Uh, maybe it's because it's a sheep. Yeah, maybe. Sheeps have a high nose. This one has a low snout. That's right. Probably when you try to sell, Sid says when you try to sell minis to mini dealers undercut you by DMing buyers. Yeah. What yeah. does that mean? That's that's why people some that's minis. why people don't like to sell on Facebook. Ricky says, love the Peppa. My kids love the show. Oh, yeah. 
All right, what else? Keep them coming. Is Susie Sheep a new character to the show, or is, or is Pez just finally adding a Susie Sheep? Do you want me to open that one? Can. <laughs> Gee, I wonder who we bought this from. <laughs> who did we buy that from? David Cavalieri. Oh. He always packages the stuff with tape, like, all over. Well, that one's probably a good one, though. This is something I bought. Oh. I actually bought something. Okay, I don't even know what this is. <laughs> EBay. Well, I know it's eBay, but. Ooh, wait, what is that? <gasps> oh, yeah, it's another one of these. Crazy. that. Oh. Ooh. This isn't any good. It's like the coolest. It's pretty cool. They're uh, very hard to find. They're out here, but they're very hard to find. So it's a Panda MMM removable eyes in bag and I don't believe this is the Japanese bag this is the non-Japanese bag I think that's the same I think the one we have is Japanese it's bag. down with the pandas nice pretty fun still need the one with printed eyes so if anybody oh this is the removable eyes in the okay do we have this in package yeah we don't have one with the painted eyes no the one we're missing is the one with the printed eyes the one we're missing Nice. The one with the removable eyes, although still hard to find, in bag, is less rare. This is super cool. There you go. Put that over there. I asked Greg yesterday if we have enough pandas, and he said no. Well, we, there's a lot we still need. <laughs> uh, that's how it pens, like... You don't think there's many variations, but once you start looking into it, there's like a ton. Well, I'm still not we're we're still not considered somehow the panda collectors. <laughs> so um, until we are, I'm buying pandas. <laughs> when people find rare pandas, I want them to think about selling them to us. Uh, I want to be the first choice. This is super cool. You don't have that. Well, no, we do. I'll show you. Okay. I'm just turning it around. Okay. It's a no. F it's a no foot. It's a no foot bugs bunny. <laughs> How many of these do we have, Gray? Only a couple of dozen. To the box you go like this <laughs> there we go how many one two three four wait <laughs> you guys Five, saw six, that right seven, eight nine ten eleven twelve it's a twelve we need another twelve we need a, this is a 24 I box think. yeah so these when did we get this last week or two weeks ago in the live stream here we unbox this it's a whole box full of Bugs Bunny Pez with no feet in their poly bags. Yep. So, uh, David was selling it. I think, was it 20 or 25? That's, it was, that's a lot, but yeah. 20. Oh. I think 25 with shipping. Yeah. I feel like. It doesn't, that's not too bad, I don't think. For a no foot Bugs Bunny in the poly bag. Because when you bought this, it was, it came out to be like. They come to be like 20, 20 bucks. 20 bucks each, I think. When you like break it down, and some of these had price tags on them that said twenty. Years. This one, like the person you bought this from, this one says twenty five. Mm. So, if anybody has no foot bugs that you want to add to this, ten dollars. <laughs> we need twelve more. Yeah, they're you know, they're out there. You just have to look for them. Yeah, just have to wait. And it's not like you have to fill it all up, but you know, whenever you, it just popped up for sale and I was like, oh, I just got that. So you add it to our collection. And I, I do have one up there in the box. I think that one's super minty though. See in the poly bag. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, you should add so, that then to that. Yeah. We use the box for something else. Yeah. Put this in the box. This is worth way more I than have that. Some, I 
have some. <laughs> <laughs> I have some uh, more boxes, Greg. We could always get more. The box is only like a dollar or two. Let's push this one aside. Mm. Oh no, someone's mowing the grass. That sounds like a car. Oh, any marks leaving? Mm. <laughs> uh, what else we got? Uh. I don't think we're gonna have anything in here to bit to to beat Sid's haul from this week, or even maybe Olaf's <laughs> score. We'll see. Oh, I'm pretty happy about our panda and our Bugs Bunny and our Susie sheet. Yeah, no, I would be good even with just that. Not, not even though it's not like super vintage. Another what? on ebay like you'll buy it a week or more ago and it takes forever to get here and then it sits down in the pile for like a week yeah waiting waiting to be open so it's like what? so this <laughs> so this is the printed version of the blue stem see that see how the other one was was uh was movable eyes and this is the printed version the reason i bought this one is because it's facing the other direction oh yeah wait see is it yeah wait. yeah mm. okay i mean we might have some that are facing this direction but... i thought they always faced that direction i think there's another one you bought that was facing the other way oh really maybe i think they always face that way hmm Let's look here, of shall we? We took all our pandas downstairs. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. That one's facing. Oh, that's a bag. Wait, what is that right there? That's a halo facing that other direction. Oh, yeah, so they do face. They can face left or right. There was another one you bought specifically. Because it faced you, it. I unless, thought this was unless it. Unless you didn't buy not. it, maybe you just saw it. I don't remember if you bought it. So, I'm not sure why I bought this. Just a double. Sometimes. Maybe I just got a good deal on it. Do we have it? Yeah, it's this one right here. Oh. What we'll the For those who for those who uh Is the candy the same in there? So for those who are watching, I'm just looking at our picture of our display downstairs. So Okay, cool. Well, now we have another one. We'll inspect them to see if they're the same. Yes, and I saw that you're trying to sell your less than Jake stuff. Oh. Um, no, no takers on that yet. This is this is a weird very this talking about a weird variation. Here you 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 can talk about this because you bought it. Yeah, that person didn't make money off that, that's for sure. If you bought it for 180, because I didn't pay that. I saw 10. 1978. See this little box? Um This this is this is one of those things you're like, is that really that color? Hmm. So this is a soft head joker. Let's put this on the spinner because okay. wait, let me look at it first. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. Look at the sleeve. Does it have any stress marks from? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Okay, let's show it. The other thing. All right. Check this out. So I know what you're going to say. It's the wrong stem. Somebody's typing it right now. It's the wrong stem. Well, you may be right, 
but you may be wrong. <laughs> Isn't that a song? Uh oh, you may be right. She can't sing it. Greg. Oh yeah, sorry. Copyright. Copyright. Um, Sounds just like it. <laughs> I know, so good. Joke is like Sid. He was typing it. I told what you. He was typing stem? it. What is the stem? Well, it's a. What is it? It is a USA stem. Yeah, so. it's a red USA stem. So here, there here's the go. thing. Here's the thing with these. They're not. They're supposed to come on a blue stem. A blue USA stem. But what what I'll say to that is that the majority of them came on a blue stem. That there are jokers that are out there that are on different stems. I don't know if any of them have been found in package, but there's de there's definitely more than a few. Well, the soft heads, the DC superhero soft heads in general come on a couple different stems each. I think all of them, don't they? Yeah, but the the there's Joker the Joker we don't we don't, uh, there's no evidence mm -hmm. that, um, <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Billy Joel is on the wrong stem. Um, so I got this mainly because I liked it and it's going to look cool next to our other Joker soft head. So. Nice. I think it's cool. I don't know, can you, I don't know if you can swap these heads. Oh yeah, you can swap them just like anything else. Like, can you take, can you take the soft head off and then pop them on another one? I'm sure. I'm sure. It does look really cool on the red stem. I know, because of the mouth. Because of the mouth. <laughs> I know. It almost looks like Teen Wolf instead of Joker. <laughs> Here you go, Aaron, this one's for you. Hi, Aaron, it's my birthday. Today and I just got my vintage Sesame Street pen dispensers today. Woo! <laughs> Happy birthday, your yeah. local kid. Happy birthday. <laughs> it's a funny, it's a funny username. Yeah, hopefully you're having a a puzzy day. And those vintage Sesame Street Pez, super nice. That's right. Do they're you have the probably, crystal ones? They're probably older than older than they are. <laughs> you never know. If you're just a kid, then definitely. That's right. Well, it's a local kid, so. It says it in the username. It's fun. Yeah, soft head. So I don't have the other one up here. I should have been smart. Oh, yeah. And went and got the other I one. I can go grab it here after we Yeah, we but can... uh, there are head variations of the soft heads. Yeah, there's ones with the Hong Kong on the back and then not. And there's also different mouths. This one says Hong Kong DC Comics 1978. Yeah. Either way, this stem is super nice. Yeah. I mean, I, it seems like the red USA stems are usually like a little bit brighter than this even. Could be. This one's more like a... Paul says, as long as I'm happy, that's all that matters. Yeah, I, you're absolutely right about that. And That's what uh, I tell them. Like, people sometimes hate on like some stuff you've shared on Facebook lately. I'm like, we're the ones enjoying the pez then you know just enjoy it or people will send me stuff that's like a stem swap and i'm like well i don't think that's a variation that pez actually made but you know enjoy it it doesn't matter like here's the inner yeah so by, by the way paul i do know people that have taken people. these out of cellos they are not to be named and they were not on the correct usa stem so oh. I know for a fact it ain't all of them. Yeah. But I don't know about this well, one. Well, before you bought this or as you bought it, you were asking around for a lot of yeah. collectors. And yeah. I, I, I do think it's a stem swap, but um, I'd rather it come to me than to be out in the wild. <laughs> hanging out with Susie Sheep. That's right. She's now uh, on the other side of the tracks the wrong crew <laughs> after watching that last joker movie he's even more creepy she's got her street name is bacon <laughs> what do you okay said so you saw the inner what do you uh the sheep's not bacon. what do you i know that's her street name <laughs> that's a pig i know it would be too mor morbid
says some of the biggest dealers calling people out for stem swaps sold me stem swaps. So Sid, I, I you know, not for nothing, but I, I, I think that some of this stuff really did come on these stems. I mean, if that Wonder Woman that you saw yesterday or last week on the orange stem didn't, didn't prove that uh, the stuff doesn't always come how you think it comes, right? Plus the, the brown stem Bugs Bunny that people mostly know about now, but you know, I I was told specifically that it was a stem swap, and then I saw it in Cello a couple years ago. <laughs> um, There's a lot of stuff that appears on weird yeah. colored stems. So especially back then, Pez just didn't care. Like they just didn't care about you know if the people popping the heads on ran out of blue and they had <laughs> five more heads, then they yeah. went on whatever color they had. So um, there was no internet to like. For the even license, I think, to even check what was going on. But there are a ton of collectors and people that just want to profit on variations that will swap the heads. Yeah. So it, it's 50-50 to me. It's not... it. By the way, because... So I paid at least $50 less than this thing is worth because I believe it is a stem swap. If I truly believed that it came like this, it would be worth double what the mm -hmm. other one is worth so so i believe that you're right i believe someone swapped the stem but i bought it one to take it out of circulation and two because it's gonna look awesome downstairs and it's a usa stem and it's a usa yeah, stem greg has a thing for the usa stems yeah i have a thing for non <laughs> non-normal stems so i like mexico stems spain stems oh yeah USA we got the mexico stems. we got wait you got more stuff in mexico down here i think today yeah you should get a soft head joker they're on ebay all the time all the time and they're a cheap, you know, a, they're achievable price. They're not, they're expensive, but they're not like way out, out of, yeah. outside. Yeah. Yeah. You know. If you just look, the soft head, the DC soft head ones, they're always coming up for sale. You just have to, just don't buy anything, you know, unless it's a good price. Yeah. Yeah. So Pony is one of those that, because they're so fragile, their manes are fragile. They're, you know, like it's just so fragile that, and and people know they come in weird variations. They're unfortunately, or they'll change the the bridle, bridle and yeah. the manes. Yeah. So you need to when you buy ponies, make sure you know you check with some pony yeah. collectors or you know do your research online to make sure that the ponies are legit. Otherwise, you're just I mean, if you enjoy it, it doesn't matter. Like, I don't know. Sometimes the more crazy colors, if you don't mind that it's not legit, then... So, also, but see, you also have to be really careful because I bought this cat with Derby recently from a known collector. Mm -hmm. And people were DMing me telling me that it was a stem swap. That, that it was not right or it was a hat swap or something. And then come to find out it's perfectly legit and i had to talk to lots of different people to get it figured it out it and then it comes to find out that um the people who were telling me that it was swapped were also trying to buy it so you know what? yeah we'll have time to talk about this later <laughs> i don't i don't out anybody but that's that's wrong yeah yeah so just uh People are, people are, you know, this is not, at this level of collecting, people get crazy. Are we going to open more yeah. boxes or what? Yeah. As long as you don't overpay for something that is like a crazy color. It's like if you buy the pony, as long as you don't pay extra for it. And if it's a stem swap, then, you know, like, if you enjoy it, then that's fine, but... If you pay extra for it, then that's yeah. not good. Yeah, the thing is, it could have like just it, been a mistake, too. Like, even yeah. the dealers make mistakes. Like, even the big ones. Like, stuff happens. Seems like a lot of times if you just buy... If you buy Pez on eBay from, like, in estate sales or whatever, those are some of the uh, more legit Pez I think we've gotten this past year. Yeah. Because, you know, no one's been... No one was swapping stuff on them. And when you talk to these estate sale people <laughs> and they're like, oh, I dug this out of some dude's toy box, you know they're not lying. Yeah. All right, more boxes. <laughs> Let's get to it. I could open one. Did you open one? No, you got it. Go ahead. Yeah. 
Not nah, Ricky. That's one way to convince them to get a discount. Convince them it's fake. Yeah, exactly. Well, you did tell that person that you weren't 100% that sure that it was. And it wasn't selling. Yeah, either. it wasn't selling. I, I waited till it had you like had, a day you, left. You said, you told the person that you weren't 100%. And he still doesn't know if it's 100% sure, but... Yeah. You don't know. I just like, told him that I couldn't buy it for its full price because I thought it was the wrong stem. But if you wanted to sell it to me, I'd be happy to buy it for the price I offered. It must be good. This is the one you were telling me about? Oh, yeah. I don't know if we're keeping this or not. So we might sell this to Jason. I don't know, but I'll have to see if he's got anything worth that we want. Eight dollars. <laughs> but this is a very uh, rare stem color for this. It's like a light orange, a bright orange. This is the Tiger M M M. Candies feel nice. Yeah, the kind of little crease on the on the top, but this this is an awesome M M M. So. Yeah, oh look, talk about facing the opposite way. Yeah. There you go, Greg's not, Greg hasn't gone crazy. Oh look, it's gotten wet or something here at the bottom. Oh, that's a, that might be a candy leak. No, mm. can't, it's not a candy Unless leak. Unless it's a candy leak from a different pack. It oh, it be, could be from a different pack. Mine just got moist. I mean, people put, lay stuff down and spill stuff or whatever. This is cool, like the back. This is the tiger one. It's got a different back on it. Yeah. This one, uh, this one, the panda one has a different back on it. What's the head of the Pez on the one they're displaying? The the tiger has a Peter Pez, and this one has a cockatoo? What is that? <laughs> Looks like a cockatoo. Yeah. It's like a creepy cockatoo. Cool. Yeah. Well, if we don't sell it to Jason, we'll keep it. So Jason's like, that's one of two MMMs oh, on card. Tell the story because it was an accident or you didn't like try to snipe it from him or whatever. What are you talking about? I didn't snipe it from him. I just bought it on eBay when that's I saw it. That's what I'm saying. It. Like you, yeah. you saw that for sale and you're like, oh, that's cool. We don't have that. So you bought it and then it comes in. Then how did you find out? You were talking to him or? Yeah. I said, hey, I bought this um, and uh, it's got a, it's got a pretty rare stem, you know, do you have this on card? And he's like, nope, that's one of two that I'm looking for. Yeah. So I said, well. Out of get, all the MMMs he has. I go, if you got something good, <laughs> I'll trade it to you. Mm. But I told him once it comes in, I would check to make sure the candies were hard. And it, it wasn't. Seems nice. It wasn't, it wasn't a junkie. I mean, I didn't like, squeeze are really hard, but they don't seem. Yeah, no, it's nice. It's good. Bad. I thought it was fun. Yeah. It's an all orange Pez. Here, put this somewhere so I don't smish it. <laughs> Here, you want to open it? Sure. I guess I did the last one, so. Oh, got a good group here. If you're enjoying the live stream today, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here and you want to learn more about Pez, you might want to hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Oh, this is from Laspina. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. Oh, um, this is so <laughs> Laspina posted a bunch of stuff for sale on his Facebook group, and then like not too long later, I'm like, Greg, don't buy any of those bears. They all look sun faded. Greg's like, I already bought them. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so they're not sun. I don't think they're sun faded. They're yellow. But they're um, yellowed. This one looks really weird. I still take it. So, it, so people on Facebook told me that what happens with these is a chemical reaction in the white plastic that turns them yellow. So um, I can test that, by the way. So if it is truly a chemical reaction that turns them yellow, then you can turn them back white by reversing the chemical reaction, I believe. I, this one is like super off-white. The whole stem is, th this, this to me is definitely- Look everybody. Sun. Or something. Fireman. In so, a box? Yeah, so what he told me is is he hears something rattling around in here, but I still wanted it. He's like, it might be the mustache, it might be 
doesn't know. Oh, it's, yeah, probably the could be the badge. But I told him that. Uh, or the hat. But I told him that we probably would not be opening this. This is the replacement for the one. Oh, we yeah. Because we already have a marbled one, so why yeah. would we open this? So that one's gonna stay. John, don't be tempted to come over and open this. <laughs> oh. So, if you don't know what this little box is, it's a. Let's see where the side is. It's a vending machine box and it has the Pest Pal Fireman in it. And there's how many videos? I don't know if I've edited them all. There's another one coming out soon. But John Devlin and I, how many has he opened? I don't know. It seems like you're opening every every <laughs> vending box of Fireman that exists on Earth. No, there other people have them. So he, I opened one. So we got ours on a live stream maybe like a month ago. And John's like, open it, open it, open it. So we were like, uh. And then, because they're not cheap. Like, how much are these? Like, 100 Yeah, this is totally sun faded. <clears throat> how much so are these? Can, like, $100? 150 150 So, like, you know, you don't want to buy something and then open it if you don't know, you know, exactly. You, there's a fireman pest pile in here, but you don't know if it's going to be, like, marbleized or redder, yellow stem or mustache missing or has a mustache. Um... So we didn't want to open it, but John Devlin opened his, and he got a really amazing one. So finally, we were like, okay, let's open ours. And that video is out. But he came over last week and opened, was that another another one? And he opened one at home. So I'll put out that video maybe next week or two, so you'll see that. But it's been a lot of fun opening these <laughs> vending machine boxes. We've gotten pretty lucky, not 100%, but uh, a lot of them that came out of these that we got, or we got the one, but John got, have been pretty, pretty cool. So that's why Greg got another one, so we don't have to open it. These, this one's definitely Absolutely. faded, because look at this, this, the gray. Yeah. So I, the reason I, I like the fade on it. So the reason I bought those, okay, by let's the way, put them up here. is because I wanted to be able to see what I wanted to be able to see faded versus chemical altered. You know, like these are not the same. These yeah, are looking not, at that. These are not the same faded. It's weird because. Here, let's show them these, and then I'll put this one up. Okay. By the way, these were dirt cheap. Dirt cheap. <laughs> Why is it so dark? Because they're yellow. <laughs> no, I mean, it just seems like the other ones seem dark, too. I don't know. Okay, so... You can see how yellowed they are. This is one we got recently. It looks somewhat similar, but see how, like, the snout in the eyes didn't age the same I don't know I think this yellow one's still cool to me I don't know what uh -huh. it is it doesn't look as dark this one doesn't look exactly this color either uh -uh. I don't know if you can tell on the screen but it's off a little bit yeah one I believe is sun faded I mean I mean those two on the left are absolutely sun faded because if you turn that one sideways the, the next one you can see the sun see how it kind of Oh, how yeah. it fades from the top down. On the stem here. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> that's what I would expect to see from Sun Faded, right? Like, not the one on the far right. That seems, I guess it's, it's always possible that the yellow just ages like people say. Yeah. But um, it's so perfect. Well, the snout's a separate piece. Yeah. Well, These this guy, snouts. this guy on the left, this guy on the left is gonna get some whitening by me. Uh. So. And then, the I mean, they're all two piece, I guess two pieces. There's a snout and then the head, on all of these. Like it's the same mold, I think. Mm hmm Okay. So these are your test subjects. Yeah. <laughs> so. Cause, Cause you can, so there's ways to chemically treat white plastic even, to turn it back to white. And you don't even know if, so, yeah, 
We don't even know why those are yellowed. Like not that. not that I would. Oh, here's a white one. Yeah. This is nice. Yeah, that's nice. Not that I would put them back in circulation once they're treated, just for me to experiment with. Because, yeah. you know, this is pretty much a junk pack. They can't oh, see sorry. it. Sorry. But there's the white. There's the white one. Here, let I me mean, put them up. This is pretty much a junk pass, so I got it to play with it. So, <laughs> it'll never enter circulation back again. Here, put these up. I want to show the difference. So, that's what happened to those. That <laughs> See, that's what happens when you put one of these in the sun. Well, we don't, we don't, I mean, you don't 100% know that it was in the sun. Oh, it yeah. for sure is. But this yellow one in particular, I like a lot. Like it's that sucker's faded, per, like it's almost faded to hundred percent perfect. And maybe you shouldn't mess with that one. I'm not gonna mess with that one. That's not the one. Oh. It's like a, it's just a yellow variation. This white one looks nice though. Let's see. Put it back on this. Was that it? Those yeah, two, so here's three? here's an example of... What's that over there? What's what over there? Oh, I'll show you in a second. So here's an example of some of those other uh, cats. Oh. So you can see that. Wait, whose is that? I'm not saying whose it is. Oh, well, they have... Whoever... So, well, I mean, did someone just see that? Yeah. Oh, they had the orange stem. That's, that's why... That's what I'm saying. That's, oh. that's why they sent it. Oh. That's why I, that's why I meant, like... Where'd that come from? <laughs> but you can see the various pandas down there too, which mm -hmm. is very cool. So you can see the different MMMs. <laughs> what are you doing? Making you get close. <laughs> it unfocuses when I get too close. Uh, but uh, that's cool. Yeah, let me see if there's anything. I mean, there's lots of interesting stuff in this picture, but. I think the, let's see, so those are the two pandas, 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 pandas. Yeah. Anyway, lots of MMMs. It's pretty neat. What's that other thing you got there? Okay, so we don't have any of these. I liked it because it had the Flintstones on it. But this is a TV Pals vending box. So this is not Pez. But it was five bucks or something. Wait, so what is it for? What are they? Clicks, I think. The other. Oh, like Rotom Poles? Yeah, or? whatever they're called. <laughs> Rotom Poles, not Clicks, but like the other huh. the other Pez thing. This, uh, Paul says the look in the head. It still looks really yellow in there. Yeah. Like the whole thing. Well, the sun. Well, the sun, UV chemically cha cha changes the plastic. Oh, uh, like chemically. It'll go all the way through. So it'll go all the way through. It's not like nicotine. Or. Or it just stains it where it gets on it. But yeah, I think this is pretty neat. I don't have anything like this, so I thought it would just be fun. Got it from Laspina since it was. Uh, yeah, are they called TV Pals or is that just the, is that just the, uh, just this, just this uh, characters? Like, are they the totems or whatever? Totems. Totems. Yeah, so I'm not going to get sucked into collecting those. I just thought this one box was neat. Can we put it, like, can we fold it back up and make it? into a box again or I'm is sure it, we could or is it like better to keep it flat i think you just keep it like that because then you could put it on the shelf like next to this and it'd be kind of cool okay yeah i mean you can do whatever you want to do it's got it's got a Wilma sid says he's going to be selling his extra soon well let me know sid maybe i'll maybe i'll get him to go with the box if you have him there's a a wilma but she's supposed to have red hair but she has yellow hair she can do whatever she wants with her hair it was just she was going through a phase. <coughs> uh, 
oh, there are five brands. Yeah, I don't know anything about it. Like, I'm way out of my depth on that. Yeah, I don't know either. I hope people cut them. Okay. A big box. You know what they say, if you can't duck it. What, that's what they say. That's what they say. Careful now. They use the uh, duct tape <laughs> instead of shipping tape. Does that make me nervous? I don't know what's going on over there. It's really thick. Oh, and it's gross everywhere. What did I even buy? I don't know. Something on eBay, I guess. This could have been from an auction. I bought some auction stuff. Not eBay. Um, you can read the paper. Oh, it's carpet. It's carpet. It doesn't smell like cigarette smoke, so that's it always a plus. It does smell like someone's house. <sighs> Here, you unbox that one. It's from uh, Metro. More deals. So these are to go with your... They put tape on these, but the tape is like super thick. This is to go with your... Uh, um, your Bugs Bunny that you got from John. Mm -hmm. This is the rest of the set. Nice. Or not all of them, but like... Nice. Uh-oh. Soft? A little bit. Soft enough that I touched it and it went... Ah. Mm -hmm. uh. That's not good. That's not good. Well, we, we've had too good of luck lately with these. <laughs> oh, here's a Bugs Bunny. It's a red stem one. Also, uh... Ooh, man, this candy's really soft. Uh, you can tell that these... These, uh... Came from, like, a not... Like, a super humid... What state did this... I don't know. Cut it off. That these came from a super humid place. Because even the cardboard is, like, soft. Like not, not like soft, soft, but like just soft. Yeah, you're right, Sunshine. What? She says it's from Metro. What is? The the ads. Uh -huh. So it looks Canadian. Yeah. Huh. What is Metro? It's the name of the grocery store, I guess. So maybe if we put it in a box with a bunch of desiccants, it'll suck the water out of it. Yeah. This one feels pretty hard. Might have just been that. Did you feel the one you got? Yeah, it was, it was a little soft. soft. Can you bring, can you save your candies? Like, is that a thing? Well, I mean, if you pull, you can pull the moisture out of it and why couldn't you? I'm not touching the candies. A Daffy Duck. <laughs> cool. I don't know. These are still cool. They don't, they're not leaking, so they still have some time before they get, uh, like, super goo. What I might do is I might just buy those desiccant spheres and take one of these and just let it live in there for, like, a month or two and see if the candies get hard. Throw this away. This is cool. It's a uh, Taz on a yellow. Uh, Taz is on a yellow stem. Mm -hmm. Like, like, uh, 
Yosemite on the green stem and then Daffy on this purple. Bugs on the red. And Speedy on the green. They're still fun stem colors. Pretty good. There's something, there's something, uh... Does the smell of Canada bother you, Aaron? Yeah, I don't know. It's like to... getting to me. Ooh, sunshine. That's, that's a shame. It seems like Aaron might be allergic to Canada. You smell it? it I just, think they just, uh... It smells like someone's house. They just smell. I don't know. I'm gonna put them back here and let them air out. Plus, I'm like... Like right here. I think those are cool. I'm gonna hang them up with my other Bugs Bunny that I got. I like the Looney Tunes. Anything like the Looney Tunes pose I like to have. Uh, okay. Bob's just like, yes. No idea what he's talking about. Yes. Yeah, the Speedy's on the the Canada green stem. Pretty cool. Yeah, they're all kind of uh, fun stem colors. Or the European has their national colors. I don't know what this is. That's gotta oh, be from the auction. Wait a minute. This this one this was one of those weird international ones, and I was like, what is this? This is, this, this, aww. I bet it broke in shipping. They didn't even wrap these up. That sucks. It's, it's very yellowed anyway. This is bare. Oh, it's from the antique store. Show, show them our, uh. We're not going to go to every single one. Our sand. This, it's a bear, Greg. Gets prime time viewing. Ugh. Another snowman. Talk about 50 cent <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That's not even a 50 cent pass. Uh, they, they wanted a dollar for them. Oh, here we go. What they wanted and what they got are two different things. Santa. Can't have a lot of pubs without a Santa. Sunshine says the box we are opening is also from Canada. Oh, is it? Yeah, that's... Oh. Wait, how do you see that? <laughs> yeah. This is, uh, that's what, I was like, what did you buy? And Greg's like, I don't know. Oh, what the heck is this? Wait, what is this? <laughs> what, what is that here? They gotta show the other screen. They can't see. Oh my gosh. I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what Greg bought. I shouldn't show this on here. It might get us demonetized. What, it's nothing? It's, not, it's nothing. It's just a piece of ceramic. It's clay. Okay, this is what did you buy? Model craft. Okay, just open the thing up, would you? You gotta get to the 16 car wheels. Does anybody want some car wheels? <laughs> if you got if I'm frustrated, I know everybody watching's frustrated. What is in there? Oh. Uh, What's with that stem? It's it's that color. Look. I think that's why I bought this. Look, huh? Yeah. That's why I bought this. So you'd have a loose one that color. It's got a, a not a nice nose though. I still have this person collected uh, smoking paraphernalia. I don't think these are Pez cars. Yeah, so, so the reason I bought this auction was specifically because I wanted that, I wanted this. Because we don't have this open. Make it clear. Oh. We don't have this stem color open. He's got a crusty nose. Yeah. I don't know, it, I might have paid one dollar for this oh. or something like that. Like How much shipping? <laughs> yeah, it was probably the shipping that cost a lot. You give these to Jack. We'll sell it. We'll sell Jack. We're gonna sell Jack our vintage toys. <laughs> a 
10. Some sort of a tin. I can't see. Mm. People collect tins. So I need to investigate what these are because we have little, little uh, wooden houses. And then we have these like little plastic cars. These are not the Pez cars, they're just plastic cars. So this is just the junk that came with this. Why is it such a big box? Is it the tin? No, it's just because it's got a whole bunch of crap in it still. What the heck is that? I have no idea what this is. Fake money? You know, just a bunch Canadian of Canadian money? Just a bunch of garbage. Is it Canadian? Ben Kenobi, official Star Wars what? caps. Official Star Wars slammer. Oh, these, are these for the pogs? games. The pogs, yeah. These are pog slammers. Holy smokes. Alright, well, that was interesting. So again, probably worth nothing, but it was fun because I got the uh, fun because I got that icy bear. So what I'll do is on these auctions, I'll like put the minimum bid, like it's like a dollar or something, and then I'll forget all about it. <laughs> I'm just taking the sticker off. Ricky likes pogs. Two hundred dollars, Ricky. Pogs if you'd are, like it. What's it say? If you'd like pogs a bag of the... bag of pogs, two hundred dollars. <laughs> they originally tried to get nine dollars and failed. Ooh. So, but for you, two hundred. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, there's another box. Two dollars. <laughs> we like interesting trades. <laughs> <laughs> this point I just hope it gets better <laughs> Ricky says oh I mean for only two hundred dollars I mean it's a steal Reed. we'll even put a sticker on it that says formerly seen on Aaron Clex Pez <laughs> that raises the value significantly oh wait oh this okay this is another bunch of uh this is from the Greg can't resist. Takima Herald Republic. Takima Herald. Business markets. I don't know. Greg, Greg can't resist buying carded pets. I'm just gonna say it like that. I'm just gonna say it like listen, that. Listen, you don't listen to her, okay? I, I'm being bullied here live, <laughs> live on YouTube. That's not what a, happened that's is not a bully. That's what happened a, is what happened is when she oh, got oh wait what is this when she got hold on a second I'm telling the story oh you bought these this is from someone actually Cooks Pez yeah when she got this is the good box when she got that um, Bugs Bunny from John she says now I need all the Looney Tunes Pez on these striped cards. <laughs> So I said, okay, let me go to work. You're supposed to say, no, Aaron, you're not supposed to buy these cards. So then. Cards. You shouldn't buy them, Aaron. So then I get them. Because we get cards in the middle and they're not nice. And now she berates me live on television. <laughs> I mean, let's see what I have to deal with. <laughs> you can't. You can't have a live stream without getting well, a Tweety. 99.9% .9 of the time, you buy a USA card in the mail and the bubble pops off, like from like 20 years ago or less. And then you buy the European stuff and then the candy is either melted or... Last week we did have really good uh, luck with those... Remember last week when we got those European ones? Mm-hmm. And uh, those are actually really nice, like really, really, really nice. 
This is making me really nervous. Ah. I mean, talk about how shipped. I mean, they're shipped really well. Yeah. Mm. I actually forgot I bought these. Yeah, this took a while to get here, didn't it? No. This is super nice. Talk about uh, this guy here. Like, this part, whoever you bought this from knows how to package card at Pez, that's for sure. It's really nice. Here's the back. You see it? This is a Zorro. It doesn't have Zorro down the side of the stem. Look how minty that sucker is. <laughs> nice. This is the first Tweety I we bought that I actually like. This <laughs> Usually they're just thrown into some lot I get. That's true. But aren't are those short? Yeah. Are those short? Yeah, they're uh, not. Yeah, we they're the old cards. We don't have any cards like these, and these are from Pez USA too. Yeah. Which is really cool. I'm gonna put these like. Hey, wait, everyone get a good look at them because I'm gonna put them behind me. It's making me nervous. Uh, Tiny Zora. These are, okay, these are super cool. I don't know where to put them. I'm gonna put them over here. Sunshine, we're gonna have a whole bunch of stuff shipped to you then. What did she, she want? She said she will forward it to us for free. What? To ship it to her house. The anything punks? we anything we buy out in Canada. I don't think it's too bad getting stuff shipped here from Canada, actually. All right, what else? There should be more in that box. I didn't just buy two. There should be more. Hmm. Oh, I know, Sunshine. I get you. How, how do you forward it for free? But I, but I think that uh, we'll have to talk about that offline because it might be more expensive just to, to ship it to you and then ship it to me than just to ship it here. But it maybe maybe I don't understand how it works. One of them wasn't perfect. I didn't dent it. Sure. <laughs> they were perfect before you touched it. Nice. It still looks really cool. So I this, like this color. This is a lavender stem. Got it? Yeah. Lavender stem USA whistle on card. So I now have. I don't know if I have this one. Go in my, we go in my off studio and grab the other lavenders. Lavender? There's one in the, there's one in the cello and there's one loose. Okay. I don't know if it's the same topper or not, but and then the other one, grab the blue, grab the blue. I think I have the, oh, there's a stack of three on the right hand side. There's three blue ones stacked on top of each other. Grab those. No, oh, there's one loose too. Huh. The lavender stem. Lavender stem. lavender stem is all I care about. Here. Yeah. Okay, good. Perfect. So this is 
so here's that lavender whistle in cello. So you can see it's got the little green loop. See that? Lavender stem on card, green loop. And then this is the other one, blue loop, lavender stem. Nice. See that? Pretty cool. And you have these. And then these. So here is loose. This is USA blue. Here's in card. So now you see how it originally came. I think that's pretty cool, right? Hopefully, yes, no. All right, so put those back there. Are those, uh, those, um, the Tweety, where's the Tweety and the other one? I put them right here. Oh, let me look at them real quick. Both of them? Yeah. Uh, I guess now we don't have anything else to open, but I didn't want to smush them on accident. Oh. This Zora one's super cool. What are you looking at? Just where it was made. Uh, Hong Kong. Where's that one from? Uh, Austria, I think. Austria. It has to be. Yeah, T R I A. It's covered up with the candy, so. Okay. I like these because we don't have any cards like this. No. All our cards are the larger, the larger ones. You no, know, like one color usually, or like mostly one color. I think, but that one's got a different color. I know. So this is the game we're gonna play: sun faded or variation. <sighs> <laughs> so stack them up like this on the turntable mm, there. They don't fall over. They won't. All right, so check this out. I have three USA whistles. They're all supposed to be identical, but they are. But two, but two of them are the same, and one of them is different. And I want you to play <clears throat> sun damaged or variation, because I really don't know. But I'll tell you, the whistle top and the stem is different. I'm not going to even tell you which one's which. So hopefully we can see it. Sunshine Tuna says, Greg, no Casper. That's what I was just telling Aaron last night. I was like, how many weeks are we going to go without a Casper? Like, nobody oh. sell. They know I'm hoarding them, so they don't sell them. Oh. Also, I think he bought all the ones in circulation. <laughs> uh, I think the... T Tuna does not, refuses to play the game like we, like, like we say the rules. An error. Wait, no, an error. it'd be a variation, I guess. Looking in the book, I do not, I cannot see lavender. What book? The USA book? Oh, you cannot see lavender, huh, Paul? Wait, is it purple? Is it under purple? Is it the, U are you looking at the USA book, Paul? Okay, well, anyway, put those down. Oh. Okay, we're playing, we're playing sun damaged <laughs> or variation. We'll come back to the variation. we'll come back to the Casper and the and the lavender question. I think variation because the so see how the middle stems. middle look at the middle red, middle whistle. It's more red than the top and the bottom. So are the top and the bottom sun damaged or faded, and the middle one is minty fresh, oh. or is it truly a different color? Is it dark red, light red? What do you think? Okay, give it a spin. I hear weird noises out there. Hope Ola's okay. We'll go check on her. Okay, stop it. Okay, keep going. Yeah, the, the stems look... Sometimes you can tell if it's sun damage or whatever. If, it, if the stem is a weird color. Oh my gosh, those are going to fall off. <laughs> Look at 
that really cool puzzle. So see the middle one is more blue. Or is it the bottom one is less blue? Uh, what is it? What does it look like? Should, can we stack yeah. them like normal so I'm not like... Yeah, the middle one is a darker this blue. Is... You're not going to be able to see it like that though. Like they're not close enough together. Oh, I think he's putting them... <sighs> it's fine, Greg. It's fine. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, so Sunshine Tuna, that's absolutely true. They're, they, you decide what color it is by the loop. So the loop is what determines the color of the whistle. <laughs> oh gosh, it's all blurry. Yeah, these are no foot whistles made in the USA. So, oh. you see what I'm see why I didn't want to do that way? Just flip them, flip them around so you can see all red. Okay. Okay, so that's all yellow. But can you tell if the yellow's been faded or not? The yellows look all the same, don't they? Yeah, but since you rearranged them, I don't like now. No, I it's... think that they're still in the same order. Okay. I mean, now it's backwards. There you go. So that's a really a good. Yeah, see how the middle is dark? I think the middle is dark red, and the ones on the outer are light red. What's going on with that? What's going on with this? Is the stem translucent? Is that a double down? Flip that one around. That one might be a double down. No, it just was flipped. See how they Maybe all Maybe it's just way. the light on it. Yeah. We're just going to have a five minute. Well, you should be able to tell if the loop's spin. broken off. I agree with you, Paul and Pat. What? They say I can't read it. Um, the middle is darker red. Oh. Variation on red. I think so. I think, I think so. So, so now I need the variation darker red with the yellow loop. If it even exists. Who knows if it even exists. But I don't think these two are sun faded and this one in the middle is not. I don't know. That's cool. But this is why I like whistles. Now you understand, right? Yeah. I like this purple. Okay. Green you can put that, blue one. put that lavender one up there. This one. I like the colors on this. Yeah. So Paul. Uh, so Paul says, looking in the book, and I cannot see lavender. Exactly, but you see it on card, and you see it in cello. That's why I'm trying to say, like people, you can't, you can't just get a Pez, and go, oh, it's not in the book. Swap. Can't do it. Is it Lospina's book or Rosenberg's? book yeah depends on whose book you're looking at i guess because lespina might not have them all yet he's just added a bunch of them this time mm -hmm. but i'm i'm starting to make my uh i'm starting to make my way through the yeah i have one that's really sun faded too we should. I wonder if we could grab that one. It's really sun faded. What? What is it? Um, color? I don't remember. I think it might be the. I might. I think it might be the purple Austria, like not the USA lavender. But you also have these. Yeah, I think it's one of the ones laying down. It's like in the. In the junkyard. Wait, what are these? Those these? were in the stand, right? Yeah. Those are those are the same ones. They're just not duplicate. These are dupes. Ah, uh, yeah. Wait, even these are different red. Okay, let's wait. Look. No, they're all the same red except for that middle one. I don't want to mix them in. No, like it. The these back ones look a little bit more orange to me. These look. These might be some faded or something or just. Or just orange. These, these to me look more orange than these. 
Yeah, the the thing though is that what I'm trying to say what I'm trying to say is that one in the middle is significantly different yeah, than yeah, all yeah. the other ones. Yeah. Right. But even but now there's three different colors even of red. I don't know. I think those are close enough. Move 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 the dark red Maybe and put then. the other ones. I don't want to mix these in. Oh, okay. The ones with the feet. Because it really only it's only up to these three here even. Yeah, the one on the right's definitely darker than these two on the left. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, while they're looking at that. Let me grab the one that's yeah. Just snuck a peek in at Clover. She's sound asleep. <laughs> How did my chair get so high? I think I accidentally pressed the button when I was getting up. Where? Oh no, okay. Oh, uh, I didn't press that button. Well, I don't know. It was like really, really, really high. <laughs> That's too tall. Yeah. So this is. No, I feel too short. Okay, so get rid of those. So this is a sun faded Austrian. See the bottom? See when these sun fade, they get to look dirty. They like get a dirty look to them. Yeah, you see when the bottom where the shoe was on it? And uh, yeah, they get washed out and like dirty looking. So this is just a, a Hong Kong, sorry, I keep saying Austria, but basically I mean non-USA. So the difference between the, the reason I, I bought this one even though is because people are like, oh, what, you know, lavender versus purple. Like you can tell here the difference. Laven what's lavender versus the standard Hong Kong oh, yeah. purple. Yeah, because that's how the USA red is too. It's different yeah. than the... Here, put like this Austria put red? this sun faded guy over there so that people can see him. Just make sure you put him on the side. How so do you people... know it's sun faded? Look, you can oh, tell. Oh, you can tell from the... the... Oh, you can yeah. tell where the shoe is. Oh, yeah. You can... Okay, so look where the shoe is. And you can tell... This is why shoes and windows don't mix. Or even yeah. just your lights or whatever. You're almost better off to put some like museum putty under them if you're going to put them in the sun. At I least they fade. Stuff. At least they fade at the same. Yeah. It's always so sticky. Um, yeah, so that one's sun faded. You keep spinning it because you have oh. it at an angle where you can't even tell. I can see it. You can't tell. At the bottom. See there. They're not that. Stop it. There you go. That's. You can really tell there. Yeah. So at the very bottom, it looks a bright purple. So when you're buying Pez, you know, try to try to see if they look kind of dull and and uh, because if this if, if this didn't have the little stripe, you would think it was fine. Yeah, they wouldn't notice. That's what's hard to buy Pez online, too. It's good to go to like conventions or buy them from people who you trust that. You know, know what they're selling, because if you bought that on eBay or whatever, you probably couldn't Here, put, even tell in the picture. Put this lavender one up there. It would be all crazy. Should I put them like this? Yeah. So there you go. There's the difference between lavender and the Hong Kong purple. I don't have any other Hong Kong purple ones. That's all we got to open. Yeah, that is it. It's been two hours. Yeah, you you say on the uh, on the red whistles, say is what you're talking about that it's a uh, color difference. I absolutely do think that there is a dark red whistle. Wait. 
And what did you ask me about? Who asked me about Caps Caspers? Was it you, Sid, or was it Paul? Who, who I saw Caspers, but I couldn't get back to it. I want to close on that loop. <laughs> uh, Not the whistle loop. Oh, that's funny. Nice pun. Uh, uh, so Paul says, I asked about Casper. No response from Greg. Surprise, surprise. I, I don't know. I what don't does that mean? know what that means. What did you ask me? Because. Greg, uh, no Casper? No, that's sunshine. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I probably just missed it, Paul. I'm sorry. The uh, variation. Unless his duplicate shade of red, I'm going with error. Oh, yeah, okay. So, Sunshine's saying it's an error. Could be. They could have used a different color plastic because they ran out and they just did the best they could. Who knows? Dan says he has a whistle that is really sun faded. The bottom one. It, you know, I, I. You're right. I think it could be that all of the other ones I have are just faded and that one is just like a pristine yeah. example. Totally possible. So, Paul, when you're looking in the Laspina's book, all he's talking about is the top part of the whistle. And he'll say, like, green, blue. Um, and I think when he says green, blue, I think he's saying either side. I don't I don't think he distinguishes, but I'd have to get the book out and look. Um, but lavender I'm, lavender, I'm talking about is the stem. So the lavender USA stems, like the holy grail of USA stems. The lavender one? Yeah. Yeah, go through your Caspers, Sid. If you want to sell them, let me know. Maybe in a couple weeks. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Paul says something down farther. Oh, I don't have a Casper on card. If you saw a Casper on card, it, send that to me immediately because I want to make that person an offer. Not me. Like, I have... I have you don't even one, have two, any three, packages. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have 13 loose Caspers. None in none in cello. None on card. None in box. None in... There's a vending box. None in box. None in packages. The middle red one is different. The bottom FEB... The bottom blue is FEB blue. It could have been, uh, I feel like if there's more than one of a variation, then you can say it's a variation. If there's only one, then it feels like an error. Yeah. I mean, true. Could be. Who, who knows? Green, blue is the teal colored one. Green, blue. Oh, Paul, I missed out on the box. I think I showed the box on the live stream that I missed out on. Uh, I did not get it. It wasn't the pet. The Casper wasn't in there, though. It was literally just the box sold for like 250 bucks or something. <laughs> and yeah, I, I just, forgot about that. you know, I thought it might have been. I thought it was too much at the time. But no, you had me bid. We 200. Were driving. Yeah, it had been like 210. Someone or something. did like right. Like right on top. Like it was like a couple books or something that they wanted by. It just yeah. happened to get down to the wire. Well, anyway, I'm going to continue working on the whistles. They're fairly inexpensive for what you get. Like, by the way, the lavender skull, this stem on the skull is like 450 bucks. So on the whistle, 200, 200 bucks, mm. 200 bucks or less. That's because a lot of people collect the skulls. Yeah. A lot of skull collectors. So, um, yeah. That's it for us. Yeah. Even though we ate breakfast, I am still hungry for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> so we should be here next week, right? Hopefully. Yeah. We should be. We should Clover be here. Clover has our surgery Tuesday, right? Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. So wish us so, luck on Tuesday because it'll be a tough day. Yeah. And then. Uh, 
we'll be picking her up on Wednesday, and then I'm sure she'll have some some aftercare needs. Yeah, we'll see how she does, I guess. But, uh, you know, she'll probably be on medicine, so she'll be sleeping through the live stream, I'm sure. <laughs> this is the perfect time for the live stream anyway, because this is like when she takes a nap. Like, she's she has a schedule. <laughs> I guess because we always work the same. Like, she eats breakfast and comes up and hangs out in my office with me and sleeps for a couple of hours. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, it's our nap time. All right. Well, until next week. See you later. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> see ya. I'll see you Tuesday, though. Yeah. Tuesday and Thursday. And then next week for the live stream. So, see ya. Thanks, Ricky. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks, Sunshine.